using the new Google add-ons for close reading and note-taking activities. If you're in your Google Docs, you will notice a new menu called add-ons. These add-ons are third-party people that are creating tools for you to use, and they're installed by the individual, which means a student would install their own and a teacher would install their own. And they have some wonderful ideas for using an education. If I click on the add-on menu and choose Get Add-ons, one that is a very useful one for your classroom is something called Text Help. And when you select it, you're going to click on the free button. It's going to ask you to accept, which I'm going to do. And what that has done is added that add-on to my add-on menu. Once it's there, I show it anytime I want within a particular document. I'm going to click Show Highlighting Tools. And what this add-on does is it creates a window on the right-hand side that allows me to grab highlighting tools. Now I'm going to jump out on a new tab to a website called News ELA. You may have heard of it. And what News ELA is, is it gives you nonfiction and current event articles and allows you to sort through them by Lexile. For example, if I go to this kids activity, choose kids, and here Disney's Small World, or here's one for college recruiters, it has anchor standards on many of them. And when you select one, which Mexico tax, um, tackles bullying, it takes you into the article, and on the right-hand side, it will rewrite the article based on Lexile, allowing you to differentiate by your students' reading levels. So what I'm going to do is quickly grab this article and just copy it into my um, document. Control C, go to my document, and Control B. So as an activity, I might be asking my students to use the yellow highlighting tool to grab the main idea in this article. And I may choose the blue for supporting ideas. I may use the green one to have any words that I don't really know, so I can go back and grab some definitions. Now, when I'm finished working through the document looking for sub-ideas and main ideas, I can then collect highlights, and it will ask me if I want to collect those highlights by document position or color. And this particular example was by color, so I'm going to select color and collect. And when I collect those highlights, I can click here. And what this add-on does is it creates a third document called Collected Highlights. And it pulls those highlights out. And it also gives me a link back to the original document, the name of the author of that document, and the close reading activity title. So at this point, then I can start annotating or writing my own ideas on what I pulled from the document. So you can see that this um, add-on tool is a really nice feature to have for some of your students.